and we're back. It is cold as hell here in Boston, Massachusetts. Erin, my co-host, will provide background reading. I shall. Very art faggy, as you can see. If we got, you know, I'll do the news and she'll read in the background. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, the snow is blowing a boot for all you Canadians. Um, you can't see it from my point. Oh, it's getting horrendous. I don't know if... Whew, that was a chilly one. It went right in my hood. That's why when you are a reporter who reports live on the streets, bringing you action updates, you need to have a hot and a hood and a proper collar. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're reading in the snow. It's important. We now go live. I've done a lot of research into this subject. Erin has. Pretty much a best year of reading and smoking cigarettes in this shit weather. But it's been ABC years of my life. It's been very hard. I would be scholarly. That is quite scholarly. I would be scholarly. As All many. Books from that period are peppered with cigarette burns. Yeah. Many scholars are. Many thinkers are periods of time. But they do their best work in a blizzard. As Aaron is intensely reading. Intensely. As the blizzard blows around her. And as you see, the snow has gotten even more. It continues to build upon itself. And, and it is quite like Al-Qaeda. Quite like Al-Qaeda. This is important. There goes Henry We lost Flash. the page. We, we lost, lost the page. Flash. Oh, my. Oh. Henry Flash. We have saved the page. That's Henry Flash. And saved the day. We are ugly writer of this book about the end of the world, basically, and AIDS consuming everybody. Um, and if you look, as the snow accumulates, I'm bearing down fast and hard on the end of this novel. Excellent work. That takes... That takes back. concentration, Henry, it takes focus, Henry, it takes a dedicated reader. reader. And my it. fingers are frozen. I am not this dedicated. All right, then. Inside I shall go. Continue. Tally-ho.